the periodontal probe. The periodontal probe that we use in the TJC clinic is calibrated in one millimeter increments, as you can see with the black markings. The lower part of the thick black bar is, represents four millimeters. The top of it represents five, and then you count six, seven, eight, and then you have nine, 10, and up from there. So a good visual to use, especially if you're having a hard time seeing the smaller increments, is watching that thicker black band. So I'm gonna establish my modified pin grasp, fulcrum, making sure I have my fingers far enough where I can roll gently. I'm gonna be applying little to no pressure. I want the probe to just gently glide into the sulcus, stopping at the epithelial attachment. There are a couple ways to do this in the textbook. It does show that you enter at the distal line angle, probe to the epithelial attachment, and work your way back distal angling into the coal. Or you can go ahead and start in the coal area and then gently walk the probe around the sulcus. Notice I'm not taking the probe in and out, in and out. You want to make sure you stay subgingival to lessen the uh, chance that you're going to traumatize the tissue. So I'm going to demonstrate here on number 30 and on 29 and 28 so you can see. So coal in the distal, come vertical, maintaining parallelism with the long axis of the two, gentle probing in and out, around the mesial line angle, and then angling again into the coal. Then I'm going to remove the probe from the sulcus. Re-enter the coal area, maintain parallel walking stroke and mesial. All right, this will be a very light grasp on your probe. We don't want to puncture through the epithelial attachment. We just want to measure from the gingival margin to the epithelial attachment and that will get us our probe depth. 